Hi there, it's Martha and I have my what I've been melting and a couple of empties. So I've been trying to stay consistent with this and doing this on a weekly basis. I decided on the second, so I missed the first day, but I decided on the second to do the January wax melting challenge that uh, Patricia Gates has going right now. Uh, it was originally started from Kentucky Waxy Girl, so Angie over there started it, and I hadn't done it since January, but I just decided um, when I was looking at the prompts, I was like, well, most I have in my July melting basket, there's a lot of scents that would work perfectly with a prompt, so why not just play along? So I am doing that this month now, and yeah, it was just kind of serendipitous that it worked out that way with what I had already planned to melt for this month. So I am going to uh, get started, and because it's with the with the prompts, so I have the prompts typed out here, it's not going to be cut up like Scentsy and then Vendor Wax. It's going to be kind of both because that's just the way they worked with the prompt. So I hope you enjoy that. And if I'm not as chipper as usual, I'd like to think that I'm pretty chipper. Uh, I'm just tired today. I'm tired. I just am not getting the best sleep. So I thought I got good enough sleep, but I'm tired. And there's other stuff going on um, with family. Unfortunately, my father-in-law is not doing well. So um, yeah, I think I'm just, I think we're all, there's just a lot going on. Anyway, let's just get to the wax. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tell you what the prompt was and then tell you what I warmed and then I'll have extra stuff as well that have nothing to do with these prompts. Uh, but the first one was Happy Canada Day. I actually wasn't planning on doing this challenge until the second. So I didn't warm anything specifically for that day. Um, but day two was Melt a Party Scent. And I had Adam's Beach Party in my basket. So here it is. So Adam's Beach Party from Sassy Girl Aroma. And this is notes of strawberry pound cake, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and s'mores. I love this scent. I warm this in my bedroom. Uh, and I've also had this one since March. So I'll try to tell you when I got it, at least for the vendor wax. Um, so you can see how long I've had it to cure. This is oh, so good. This is such a good scent. It's a beach nights. If you like beach nights, if you're familiar with your beach nights, it's a great beach night scent. Um, the strawberry pound cake. I'm picky with strawberry. I get the strawberry a little bit, but mostly I'm getting that beach night, the toasted marshmallow really coming through. Uh, a little bit of the salty sea breeze uh, is in there and it's just fantastic. Performed well for me. Uh, really good, I should say. I shouldn't say well. It performed really good and consistently, I have to say, Sassy Girl Aroma really performs in my Scentsy warmers and everything. It performs really, really well in my home and with the warmers I have. So that is Adam's Beach Party. Um, my melting basket for July. If you haven't watched that video, I'll Let's stick it up here. But my melting basket for July is very ambitious. So I don't know if I'll get a chance to continue melting some of that because I do want to at least give you warm reviews of everything I had in my melting basket if possible. But uh, that I love that scent. So for sure, I will be warming more of that this summer. Then for day three, there was melt a ruby colored wax. Um, and I chose, oh, just right on top. Perfect. Ruby nectarine from Scentsy. And this one, is this the one that's Susan Fitzpatrick? I'll also try to, when I say names of other channels, put them in the description box. I'm sure you all know who Susan is, but you might not. I was new to wax a year ago. So I, you know, maybe you're newer and happen to stumble, stumble upon my channel. Um, so I will try to be better about that. Do little shout outs. I'll put like, you know, I'll put them in the description box, but I think this is Susan's favorite, one of her favorite scents. Um, very strong performer, very strong performer. So if you're looking for one of those strong ones, this one performed for me really well, had it in the open space, uh, almost too well, because I had a slight headache that morning and I almost, maybe I did, I might've turned one warmer off because I'm like, okay, this is just a little too much. Um, but yeah, great performer. It is a good scent. I do. I did like the scent a lot. I say this now, I think I'm going to be really picky about what goes in my club. I think since this seems to be a pretty good performer, 
maybe one that I may say, hey, let's see if it shows up next year because I did like it. Um, but we'll see. I, I just think, I think this is a popular one. So feeling pretty hopeful about that one coming back next year, but you never know. We all heard about vanilla waves and other things. Um, okay. So on the fourth independence day was melted American made wax or something with stars or stripes. I chose summer waves from sassy girl aroma. Um, it's an American made vendor, but also the colors it had, you don't really see it here, but it had a little white and some blue and some red. So summer waves is what I chose for that day. And this has notes of blue Hawaiian cherry blush, no cherry slush. <laughs> That's why I need my glasses. Blue Hawaiian cherry slush, whipped cream and cotton candy. And this is a great scent. I really like the scent. I do like cherry, but I know that some people, and I'll talk about another cherry scent in here that is in here that for me was medicinal. This one was not. This is smells like cherry. Just a really nice bright cherry. The blue Hawaiian and the cotton candy. Is there cotton candy in here? No whipped cream. No, there is cotton candy. I just read it and I can't even remember. Um, but I definitely get the cotton candy, the blue Hawaiian, a little bit of the whipped cream. This reminds me of like a snow cone, like a cherry blue raspberry snow cone. And it was just perfect. I think for the 4th of July, I'm already through half of it. And for me, um, I only use like two or one sometimes cube in a warmer. So these brittles last me a long time. Uh, and so that tells you I've warmed that, I think everywhere, open space in a bedroom. Uh, so that's how I got through so much of that. Then on day five, it is F off, <laughs> melt something floral, fruity, or fresh. I chose to melt motorboatin. Um, Motor Boatin from Rose Girls. So this was the one that I purchased back in April. And it was one that I purposely in my mind was like, I'm gonna warm this in July. And uh, it's a great fruity scent. So that that's where it fits the prompt. It's just, it's good. It's not a sharp fruity to me. It's sweet because I think I definitely get the guava. I get the, the strawberry, the raspberry. I get the cotton candy. This is really blended nicely. Um, I don't find it to be sharp at all. I don't find the guava to be ultra sweet. I think it's just a great blend. Really glad that I finally got to warm this. Uh, and that is Motor Boatin from Sassy Girl Aroma. I warm this in open space. Um, I guess I will say if I'm comparing, since I'm talking about two vendors here, Sassy Girl Aroma for me is stronger overall. Rose Girls, I would say, is usually moderate. Sometimes hit and miss. This one for me was a moderate scent. I can smell it. Uh, I also had this in the bedroom too, so it worked a little bit better in there. Uh, so I can smell it. It's just not, it wasn't like a super high performing um, scent. And that's probably also because it's fruity. I think fruity scents in general can maybe come off kind of strong in the beginning, but then they quickly die out. Uh, but that one lasted all day. Um, okay. So now we have, uh, melt something romantic or sexy. Okay. I totally kind of stretch this because I don't think this is necessarily romantic, but nude beach was in my basket and I thought, okay, you know, I don't know, maybe some people might find nude beach sexy. I don't never been to one. Um, I don't, <laughs> Personally, I don't think they are, um, but it was kind of what was in my mind when I saw that uh, prompt. So Nude Beach is from Teddy Bees, and I had a souffle of it. So this is, this is just, again, another beach night scent. It is so pretty. I warmed this in my bedroom and it was fantastic. And I, I didn't have a full, full souffle because some of it I had given to my friends, but I warmed it uh, two different days and it was fantastic. And this is notes of cream to boom, boom, cashmere cream and beach nights. So I love cashmere. I love the boom, boom. It was fantastic. Um, and it worked well in the bedroom. I don't, I mean, I didn't try it in an open space. So, so far this is my first experience with Teddy bees. Uh, but I think this was perfect for a bedroom. Uh, and it lasted about a day. I didn't, I definitely by the end of the day, uh, I did have it, I did have it continue on overnight and by the next day it was hard to smell. So, um, but that was leaving it on, you know, a full day and evening. 
Okay, next we have, let's see, melt a strawberry scent, and I chose two. I did one downstairs and one up in the bedrooms. So um, the first one down in open space was Sassy Girl's Strawberry Cupcakes, and I picked this one up in March. And this has notes of, let's see, strawberry vanilla cupcake and buttercream frosting. This one, I do get a cupcake note, like a cakey note for sure. The strawberry, that sass, at least the, my experience with her strawberries is a very like true strawberry, almost like a, like a very ripe strawberry. So it's nice strawberry. What was interesting about this one was, smells fantastic right now on cold sniff. And when it was first warming, it was great. As it continued to warm, I think it's something in the vanilla cupcake note, I think, that was just a little odd, like just a little bit. Um, and so for that reason, I it kind of dropped some points uh, in my mind. So I probably wouldn't pick this one up again. Not bad, I will continue to warm it. Um, it wasn't bad, but it was just something that I was like, ah, oh, that's interesting, uh, but performed really well. I mean, it really filled up the room. Um, so that was strawberry cupcakes. And then upstairs, I warmed Zara, also from Sassy Girl Aroma. And this is another strawberry scent. So kind of going with the prompt. And I picked this one up in March as well. So this is strawberry and lemon curd. This one also performed really well, had this in the bedroom in two warmers. And, uh, and again, I, I do like the strawberry. And for me, strawberry is hit and miss. It's like Sensi strawberry, whatever oils they're using, um, has not been a favorite of mine. Uh, but this was really good. Although I pick up mostly lemon curd, like the lemon curd for sure overtakes whatever strawberry notes are in here. And it's a very strong lemon curd. Because of that, it, there was something a little, I'm trying to find the right word because I don't want to, but it is a little medicinal or herbal or something. Um, it's sharp. Maybe there's something a little sharp on the lemon curd. And the reason I was saying medicinal, because it made me think at times like a cough drop, like a, a lemon, you know, like a lemon uh, flavored cough drop. Uh, so there was a little bit of that on cold. It smells fantastic, but on warm, I really got a little bit more of that little bit of a cough drop kind of scent. Um, so for me, I wish that wasn't in there. It was okay. Performed very well. I know my friend really likes this scent, so I think it just might be my nose that's picking up on something with a lemon curd, but, um, but it's a great performer. And that was Zara from Sassy Girl Aroma. Okay, then day seven is melt. No, that was that was day seven. Day eight is melt a scent with coconut. So I chose, where are you? You know, it fell earlier. Oh, here it is. Kukui, Kukui and coconut. This is tropical coconut, Kukui nut and soft jasmine. This is similar to like a, like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom scent. Similar, not the same, but I think maybe that's what Sensi was trying to do with this bar. Um, it's a nice scent. I do like that jasmine is really a pretty mix with that nut and the coconut. Um, this I warmed in the bedroom. So I warmed it in both bedrooms. Um, and then I think maybe a bathroom. So that's how I used up the whole bar. But it's a nice scent. It's not one that I would consider using an open space only because it was very moderate in the bedroom, almost like I'd give it a four out of 10 as far as performance. So it was a little lighter than I was hoping. It's a pretty scent. Um, so I liked it and I enjoyed it. And yeah, that's all I can really say about this one. Um, it's nutty, but that Jasmine's really pretty, but uh, uh, okay. I know another thing I was going to say about this and I get this from a lot of Scentsy coconut, <laughs> coconut bars. Sometimes there's a little bit of a waxy note that I get from it. In this bar, it was very subtle. So it wasn't, I didn't get it too much, but I did get a hint of a waxiness from the coconut. Um, 
not anything as bad as coconut palm, which to me was just total waxiness. And I really loved, what is it called? Ocean air and coconut water from the uh, Sunshine State of Mind collection. That one on cold smelled so good. I thought I was gonna love it and all I got was a very waxy note. So there's something on some of Scentsy's coconut blends that I get that. On this one, it was very subtle. So not, not enough to ruin it for me, uh, but I did enjoy this and I would consider buying another one of these um, if it came back next, next spring and summer or maybe, maybe in August when I know they put the kind of the catalog scents on sale, uh, I might pick up another one because I did enjoy it, but it was definitely a lighter, a lighter scent. And I went on way too long about that one. So next is on the 9th, which is today that I'm filming this. It is a, it's na National Sugar Cookie Day. So it coincides perfectly with my Sunday brick, <laughs> warm a brick. So I have the brick of sugar cookie and I will put the picture, the last picture I had over here so you can see the difference. But basically, I think I basically had like a, a cube and a half is what I'm warming this morning mixed with um, another vendor wax that I'll show you. So that's what I have going on right now. Uh, and sugar cookie is one that maybe two months ago, I might've said I had, I'd struggled smelling this one, but I, I'm smelling it much, much stronger now than I did like two months ago. And I've had this particular brick since the beginning of the year. So sometime in, I think January, I got this in my club. So that's melting nicely. Uh, so that is what I have been warming that goes with the melting challenge. So here I have kind of everything else I've been warming. Uh, so let's stay with, with bricks for a second here. I have sea salt and avocado. And so this is another brick that I warmed last Sunday. Um, and I don't think I talked about it in my video. Um, so this is, I had I had already used up three, so I, I used, what is that, like two, two and a half um, last Sunday. And this is just a really, I've talked about this, I think, a lot um, these past few months because I picked this up in May, I think. Uh, this has got Valencia orange, it's got sea salt, and it's got uh, avocado. And I just think it's a so soft, not in performance. This one actually does perform for me. I know it may smell light on cold, but it performs really well. But it's a quiet, I'll call it a quiet bar, meaning I don't think it's intended to like blow your nose, like just kind of like, you know, just go up your nose kind of a, a scent. It's, it's one that I like where I just kind of want to chill. I want something a little softer. Um, I want to be able to smell it for sure. And it's just a creamy, slightly green, um, bar. And so I really do like this one. And, um, and I would definitely, when I use this one up, would pick another one up if it's around next year in the Scentsy Club. I don't know how often they change the bricks in the Scentsy Club. It feels like they haven't really added anything different in there since I started in September. So I don't know, but if it's still around when, I, when I'm done with that one, I would definitely pick one up. Um, okay, so then we have, let's, we'll continue with Scentsy. Then we have Southern Sweet Tea, and this is peach, orange juice, and white tea. I only had two cubes left from last month, so I warmed this last night. I think, again, I just wanted something light. It was in the kitchen, um, so I'd smell it when I walked in there. And I only had two cubes. It's just a really pretty peach. I really like this peach. I did put it in my club because I don't have a whole lot of waxes with peach that I like. Uh, and so I did club this and I did enjoy it. It is lighter though. This one played hit and hide and seek, not hit and miss. This played hide and seek with me uh, when I first warmed this. Uh, so I'd smell it throughout the day, but sometimes I wouldn't. So that's just a moderate performer. Then we have cherry vanilla and cherry vanilla is candied cherry, sugared almonds, white chocolate ice cream. This was also part of the bring back my bar from June. Um, this is one that I was really hoping to love because I do enjoy cherry, but the cherry in here is so strong 
it's just so strong. Like it almost like burns my nose. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of vanilla. I do get some candied almonds and I get a really funky note. I get a funky note with uh, which I'm going to blame on the white chocolate ice cream. Uh, that funky note is not as um, noticeable on warm, which is good, but I feel like it's almost too much cherry and I wish there was more vanilla. Uh, just to offset it a little bit. So I have one cube left, which I'll warm in a bathroom, uh, but that is the last one of those. I didn't club it or anything. Then I'll talk about these together. Uh, I warmed um, Moana and Sugar Blossom in the same room. I only had two cubes of Moana and I had one cube of Sugar Blossom. So Sugar Blossom is Golden Blossom Sugared Citrus Vanilla. And I've talked about this one. I love the scent. I think it's so pretty. It's a pretty scent, performs very well for me. And it just smells like a very sweet floral, but not a heady floral, like a just a pretty, like a very pretty floral. And it works really well with Moana. And this is Spirit of Montanui. This has notes of melon, pineapple, and plumeria. I'm not a huge melon fan, but I do like some melons. And this one is a nice scent. This is more a bedroom scent because of performance. First time I warmed this, I tried this in the open space and it didn't perform as well. So I had two cubes left and I figured I could use that in a bedroom with, you know, these two. So they actually mixed nicely in the, in the room. Uh, and that is Sugar Blossom and Moana Spirit of Montanui. Okay, and then we have... Let's see another Scentsy bar here. So this is By the Sea, and this is green, sorry, ocean air and seaside grass. This is a nice, for me, kind of a bathroom scent. It was very strong though. This one I warmed in the bathroom and the bedrooms, uh, and it was a very strong, so good performance on this one. Um, but I think the seaside, is it seaside grass? I think that grassy note is just not like, it's just okay for me. Not something that I'm definitely thinking, ooh, I have to have more of this. So I enjoyed this for what it was. Happy that it performed really well. Nice bathroom scent, very fresh. And that was by the sea. Okay, last scentsy thing in here is the Blue Grotto. So this is the pods. I had this in the car with the little mini fan diffuser and, um, or fan, mini fan. Uh, yeah, this was really nice in the car. I do like the scent a lot. I think it's maybe not, I mean, not everybody likes every scent, but I think generally speaking, this is kind of a safe bar mm -hmm. to enjoy or to melt or to gift. Uh, Cause it's just, Got a little bit of citrus. I know it's like citrus, lush botanicals, and um, it's just, I don't know. It's its bright. It's bright and refreshing, and I do like citrus in there. So there's a little bit left. I couldn't smell it much more in my car, uh, but I can smell it like here. So I might put this in a drawer just to, I don't know, continue to get some use out of it. And then I have... What I was, what I'm melting right now with sugar cookies. So today I have sugar cookie, and then in alternating warmers I have Sassy Girl Aromas Tiffany's Chocolate Latte. Uh, my friend had gifted me some. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. My friend had gifted me uh, like six. Yeah, I think it was like six of the little brittle cubes um, of this. And I'm not one who likes chocolate scent, chocolate scented wax, but this one is very coffee. So that latte should just be called like coffee because there's not, it's a strong coffee scented wax. I do get some chocolate, like a little bit, but it's it's enjoyable. It's, it's one I would say I like, but it's so in the background, um, I'm really just getting mostly coffee. So coffee with like a little bit of like, if someone was having coffee with like a, little bit of fudge or something like that. It's not quite a mocha, but I guess it could be. I guess it could be a little bit like a mocha, but it's it's strong and uh, very happy with that performance. And that's from Sassy Girl Aroma. And it was uh, Tiffany's Chocolate Latte Powerhouse. Um, okay, then we have Berry Margarita from Harper James Wax. This is lime margarita, cherry, strawberry, raspberry, and sea salt. 
I warmed this in open space. Uh, there were six brownies and I think I warmed uh, one upstairs. I usually drop a brownie in, in my Scentsy warmers and then I had one in the tea light warmer. Uh, this is a really nice margarita. If you like margarita, this is a good margarita. Definitely get that little, I think it's the salt, like that touch of salt just reminds me of the salted rim of a margarita and the lime and the lemon, it's good. It was a really good one. Performance though, I'd say was moderate. Uh, not, not one that was like super strong. I could smell it, but I wish it was just a little bit stronger. And I've had this one since March. Uh, so that is Berry Margarita from Harper James. Would I buy it again? Maybe, I don't know. I have so much wax now that I'm like, I don't know. And there's so many other vendors I wanna try. Harper James was like the first vendor wax I ever tried and I've been happy with it, but there's just others I want to try. And so, you know, I don't know. And maybe at some point I would buy that again. Uh, and then last but not least, I warm this, actually ended up warming this on July 1st. So it didn't match the, the, the prompt, um, but this is lemon cotton candy ice cream cake from Rose Girls. And I got this in April and this is Sicilian lemon cookie, which I love. Love her lemon, uh, cotton candy frosting, ice cream, and pie crust. And so, and also really pretty colors. Um, so this is from Rose Girl. And I would say that this was a good, really good smelling wax. I just wish it performed a little bit better. Overall, and I'm sorry if I already said this, but overall, Sassy Girl Aroma is very strong. I'd give it probably consistently like an eight, eight or nine in performance. Rose Girls, I'd say is more moderate, maybe maybe as high as a seven in some sense, but kind of hanging out in the five out of 10. Uh, and this one was maybe more like a five or yeah. Um, so, oh, but it's so good. Her lemon, her lemon cookie, I love, but I get the pie crust, I get all of these notes and it was really, really nice. Uh, I just thought, based on cold sniff that it would be a little stronger than it was. Um, and I've had this again since April. So it's, it's had some time to cure, but really enjoyed the scent would continue warming it. And yeah, I'd probably rebuy it again if it came around. So I think that is it. Oh, no, no, no. I got one more thing. One more thing that I've been using up. It's the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit from Bath and Body Works. I'm also trying to be better about not just using up my bricks, but warming some um, candles that I have. So I am almost, I mean, this week I should finish it actually. I probably could have saved this for, for next week uh, as an empty, but I've been enjoying the scent a lot and it's been burning. Look at that. It's still kind of a creamy white uh, or cream color. It hasn't sooted at all. It's been a great performer. I picked this up, I want to say like two years ago. So I'm really trying to get through my candles and that is all I have for this week. So if you enjoy this, uh, consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, what else do I got going on this week? This week, I do have a package, which if you saw my vlog yesterday, you saw me get a, a Sensi package. I haven't filmed that video because I'm waiting for another delivery to come this week because that was all bring back my bar stuff. And I wanted to also just mix it with another delivery that I have coming this week. So hopefully I will film that this week. And yeah, that's what I got cooking this week. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope you have a great day or evening or whenever you're watching this. Bye-bye. Oh no, it dropped somewhere. Dropping things. We're dropping things. And I lost something already. Oh no, oh no. Where is it? Are you kidding me? There it is. Okay.